Assalamualaikum and hello everyone So today I and my group will present to you about the coal fire power plant which is a facilities that produce electricity by using coal So based on the pie chart in this slide you all can see that coal and coal product is leading by 28.1% percent and the second one is natural gas which is 23.1 and the third place is hydro which is 15.8 percent so coal is the world largest amount of electricity supply power plant among this electrical source in Malaysia, we we also use these three sources, which is coal, natural gas, and hydro. So basically, these three is the main sources for electricity generation sources in 2018. This slide is telling us about what is coal. Coal is a combustible black or brownish black sedimentary rock with a higher amount of carbon and hydrocarbons. Other than that, coal is classified as a non-renewable energy source because it takes millions of years to form. So how coal was formed? Coal was formed by the dead plant which were buried under water and dirt over millions of years. The heat of pressure, the heat and pressure turn the dead plant into coal. I will continue with a question which is why we use coal as an energy source. Here is listed down several reasons why coal is used as energy source. The first reason is the coal is the cheapest fossil fuel to generate electricity. Cheap price is one of the main influence as the power plant need a huge consume of coal, so the coal can be obtained in a huge amount in such a not burdening price. The second reason is coal is higher efficiency compared to other renewable energy such as solar and wind energy due to no wind issue. High efficiency source can overcome the problems such as low quality product, waste of source and waste of money. The third reason is coal fire power plant is a mature technology since in late 19th century. It is proved that the coal is the worth use energy source. Disadvantage of using coal as energy source. Here are some disadvantages of using coal as energy source. First, coals are not renewable and not green. Second, the ash and gas produced by burnt coal cause acid rain, air pollution and ozone depletion. It also can destroy habitats. Finally, it is dangerous and have high temperature working condition. Let's have a look at the basic construction for coal fire power plant. Many people think that the burning coal energy will directly transform the heat energy produced by the heating coal to electrical energy. Actually, the heat energy produced is used to heat up the water to turn the water into steam in order to operate the steam turbine and the electric generator to form electrical energy. So, by looking at the basic construction for coal fire power plant, we can divide it into a two part. First is the coal burning area, and the second one is the water and steam area. For coal burning area, there is a coal silo, the boiler with a stack, ash deposer form, steam turbine, and also the electric generator. While for the water and steam area, there was a pumping station reservoir, cooling tower, and also condenser. Lastly, it is a transformer and transmission line. Transformer in the power plant is used to step up the voltage to reduce the electrical energy loss. 
while for the transmission line it used to transfer the electrical energy to the transmission substation so now i will talking about the basic operation of the coal fire power plant so as we know the coal fire power plant is generating electricity by burning the coal into furnace so firstly the water will pump from the river to the condenser and looping to the furnace and the turbine throughout the cycle by using coils when the coal is burning in the furnace the heat generated will boil the water in the coil and form steam due to the high temperature and pressure the steam will transfer to the turbine and make the turbine start to spin and this is the point where chemical energy in the core convert into mechanical energy since the turbine is connected to the generator so when the turbine spin the generator will spin and generate electricity and this is the point where mechanical energy convert into electrical energy and the electricity produced will transfer to the transformer by using transmission line for public use so this is the basic operation how the core fire plant convert chemical energy from the core to electrical energy here is the extra information for the cooling process for the steam as we can see there's another loop of water from the river to the condenser this is because after the steam spin the turbine it will transfer back to the condenser at boiling point temperature if the normal temperature water is transferred to the condenser continuously it will blow down the overall temperature of condenser below the boiling point of water so the steam can condense back to the water and resupply to the furnace as the new heat supply so there is no extra water is needed for the long time operation of the coal fired power plant for the example of site I'll be picking the top three largest power station in the world. For the first one, is the Tuketo power station that located in China. Datang Tokuto power station is a 60,720 MW coal fire power plant in the Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region in China, which is the largest coal power plant in the world. The Tokuto Power Company is owned by the three separate companies. The company is the Datang Power, which is owned by 60%, Beijing Power, which is owned by 25%, and Huaneng Thermal Power which is owned by 15%. The coal based power station consists of 8600 MW generating units commission between 2003 and 2006 and two additional 300 MW units brought into the production in 2011. All of the generated power is delivered to the Beijing China. The power plant exploit coal from the jungle coal field approximately 50 km away and meets the water requirement by pumping its needs from the Yellow River, which is located 12 km away. There was other example of coal power plant that generate above 6000 MW same like the Tokuto power station before. It is a 10 power station which generates 6100 MW and located in a Chungcheong Namdo in South Korea. In addition, a 300 MW IGCC power plant is located at the site also. Together with the Dangjin power station, also generate 6040 MW and located in a Korea East West Power Company in a Dangjin, South Korea. Malaysia first of 2000 MW Ultras Particle Coal, first uh, power plant in Port Dixon, owned by Tinaga National Park. Cooling power for power plant. 
this building will reducing the pressure this will cause to reducing the vibe and it will reducing the petrol that using steam turbine it will make the water coming hot and it will changing to the vibe and the vibe will go inside the turbine and it will making move and when it's come inside the turbine it will come in cold and we have the power plan generator and here the reference uh, we using in the project and we are the member group all are here that's all for the slide and thank you for listening